Hi guys. I know many of you have been waiting for a while for this and I apologize it took me so long. Um, I had the whole thing filmed. I had clips of me applying each one to my face and as I was editing it I just was not happy with it so I am refilming it and that's what you are going to be seeing right now. So that's why it's late. Sorry but hopefully this is better and I just wanted to put out the best that I could. So let's jump in. I will be reviewing untinted indie let's say in quotes because they're maybe not all indie um mineral sunscreens so if that is what you are excited for just keep watching please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe below if you are interested in seeing this and more and let's just go right in okay so i first off wanted to thank you for waiting and secondly i wanted to tell you that i do have a google spreadsheet of all of the information that i'm going to be mentioning here so if you want to go check that out, you can read it. You can kind of just see my thoughts on paper. If you, um, I don't know, want to read it and not watch my video, that's cool. Not really, but <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, yeah, so that will be linked below. Okay, but we're going to just go ahead and start. And I'm going to be applying them to my hand, and I will try to insert a quick clip of me applying it to my face as well. So the first one I have, and I wanted to start with my favorite just because... Why not? Um, I will have timestamps throughout the video, so if you're interested in just one, you can click below and check that out. But the first one that we're going to start off with is the Purito Comfy Water. Chef's Kiss. So this is a Korean brand. I got it on YesStyle.com. So you can go to YesStyle. I have a discount code for you guys below. And you can order it from there. You can also order it on Amazon. I just think it's a little safer to order YesStyle. And then also, just quick note, get the express shipping it's like 12 or 11 dollars it's kind of expensive but the other one takes forever like especially with all the covid stuff going on right now i haven't gotten a shipment it was almost two months ago so just do express just a little word of advice okay so this retails for 12.88 and as you can tell from the title it is comfy water uh, spf 50 pa plus 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 four pluses <laughs> um the active ingredients are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, and it comes in two fluid ounces or 60 grams. So this one really does not leave much of a white cast. Of course, on darker skin tones, um, you know, I can't speak for people with a darker skin tone, but on my skin tone, which is kind of an olivey, like medium color, it really doesn't leave much. Um, my main point of advice whenever you're applying any of these mineral sunscreens, no matter how good they are, is do it in thin layers. If I go and take this and just dot it all over my face really quickly and like, like that, I will have a little bit of a white cast. It's just kind of what happens, especially if you have a darker skin tone. So again, just do a light layer and then you can go back and do more. But as you can see from my hand, I really don't have much of a white cast. Um, I think with some mineral sunscreens, probably all of them, you are going to have a little bit more flashback. So if you take a picture, you might get that like white cast from the um, flash in your picture. So that's something to consider. And sometimes I do, I don't wear much makeup or like foundation at all, but I'll put like concealer and everything on. And um, if I don't blend it in, you can see a little bit of white cast. But Overall, this one is one of the best that I've ever found. It is called Comfy Water, and that's because it's 70% water, which is actually not drying if you have dry skin. I don't feel that this one dries your skin out at all, and it applies like a dream. It's also oil-free, so it would work for oily skin, and I wear it, and I live in North Carolina, and it gets hot and humid here. So it's, it's really like a go-to year-round, and I think for a lot of different skin tones and skin types. So this one, I wish I could talk about it all day and if you want me to do a longer video and like really go in depth about it, I can. This one, this is everything. It's cheap, it works, no fragrance. That's another great thing about it. Two chef's kisses. Okay, next up we have Biosans. This is, I believe it's an American made brand. It comes in 1.7 fluid ounces or 50 milliliters slash grams. It does retail for $30, which is one of the most expensive that I'm reviewing. Um, so in comparison to the Comfy Water, which you get for $12.88, 60 grams, this is $30, 50 grams. So that's just what it is. Um, 
This one is 14% zinc oxide, which is actually the lowest amount of active ingredients out of all of the ones I'm reviewing. You know, if it has an SPF of, this one says 30, then it shouldn't, like it should still work even though it says it has a lower amount of active ingredients. So I'm gonna apply this to my hand. We have a little dot there. Um, it really goes on quite similarly. To, I put a lot on that time. It goes on very similarly to the comfy water. It goes on very smoothly, kind of like a velvety, liquidy texture, and it blends in quite nicely. So as you can see, I have a little bit of a tan on my hand, but um, it really is blending in. So again, like I say all the time, just go in thin layers and then you should have the best luck. It does have a little bit of a light kind of dewy sheen to it. So as I, I don't know if I said this, but the comfy water really kind of dries down as much as any sunscreen that I've ever tried does. This one, I think, leaves a little bit more of a glow to it. The ingredients are great. It has a lovely feel. It has very little white cast. Um, the only thing that I don't love about it is the price and then the amount of active ingredients. But again, like I said, it has an SPF of 30, and in the US, FDA requires that level to actually, actually be met regardless of the amount of active ingredients. But that's just one thing to keep in mind. Some people really do care about that. I would say that this is really great if you are sitting in an office, working at home. The next two are kind of a tie. Um, we have the Kinship and we have the Seashells Sundays. Sundays Seashells. I've done a review on this one. I will link it above. And this one is a new brand to me. I think they got me via some Instagram marketing, but I'm not mad at it. So here we go. <laughs> This one retails for $25. It comes in 1.7 fluid ounces or 50 grams. And it has 22.5% zinc oxide, which is one of the highest amounts of zinc oxide in any that I'm reviewing. It does, it is called self-reflect. And I will show you why. When you apply it, it has a little bit more color than some of the others, but it really has kind of an illuminating sheen to it. Kind of like a, um, a glowy primer if you will but I think the color and the fact that it does that really helps it blend in seamlessly and this one really I would say it's one of the best ones if you're just wearing alone especially if you do have a deeper skin tone um, for me if I wear this alone with no other makeup you really don't see any white cast it also goes on very smoothly feels hydrated on your skin these are two of the things that I look for. A lot of mineral sunscreens can feel very chalky and flaky and gross and uh, And all of the three that I've already talked about just go on so beautifully, kind of like a chemical sunscreen in that like smooth velvety texture. I would say the downsides to this are that I wouldn't probably wear this in the summer, especially in North Carolina. It's just, I already have a natural glow to me because of the moisture and the humidity. I don't need more, so I would wear this in the winter more so. And, and again, that would probably go for oily skin tones as well. You're probably just not gonna need that much more oomph to your skin. Okay, and then back to my other one, which is kind of tied. Ooh, these two are kind of tied. So this is the Seashells um, Sundays. Sundays Seashells, I always say it wrong. This retails for $30. It comes in two fluid ounces, which is the most, um, with these two have the most, two ounces. It has 18.9% zinc oxide, and it says that it's infused with vitamin C, which will help brighten your skin. Now, personally for me, you can't really expect a lot of skincare properties from your sunscreen because these are mineral sunscreens and they're gonna be sitting on the surface. So with your skincare, like a serum, you want it to actually sink into your skin. And since this is a sunscreen and it's just sitting on your skin, I wouldn't use this as your actual vitamin C serum. This one is a little bit thicker, um, probably to do with the fact that it has 18.9% zinc oxide. But again, my biggest, biggest tip is just to go in small, thin layers, and then it really blends in pretty nicely. This one has a scent. It's kind of like a citrusy scent. So it does have essential oils in it. Um, if you have sensitive skin, that's something to consider. And this one dries down. It's not as sticky as some of the others. Um, it goes really great underneath makeup or alone, but it does have a little bit of a tackiness. So in the summer for me, it's probably not my ideal sunscreen. Um, it's just not like so, so tacky. 
Okay, and next up we have May Love. May Love comes in two fluid ounces and retails for $19.95. It is 18% zinc oxide and they bill it as a two-in-one, I don't know why I'm using my hand so much, two-in-one primer. So this one, I 100% believe in that claim. It has a very tacky finish. It goes on absolutely beautifully. You can just kind of see that velvety smooth texture to it. But my one big issue is since I don't wear a lot of makeup, this one has a tacky feel to it pretty much all day. So if you are just wearing this and nothing over it, you're, it's gonna feel sticky. But look at that, that is, it really does not leave a white cast at all. Um, like I said, it does have a little bit too much of a tacky feel for me to wear day in, day out with nothing else, but it's beautiful under makeup and that is really the way that it's meant to be used. So if you're somebody who's looking for something great under makeup, I think this is the one that you would wanna consider. It's also infused with vitamin C and vitamin E, but like I said when I was talking about seashells, don't consider this your vitamin C or vitamin E as just your skincare because it is just sitting on your skin. It's not really going deep into it because that's what a mineral sunscreen does. The last one we have is salt and stone. So this is SPF 30. It comes in three fluid ounces for $18. So this is the best bang for your buck. If you have a family that you really want to put sunscreen on, this is probably the one I would advise you for. It is the best for active people, being out in the sun all day. It also has 22.8% zinc oxide, which is the highest out of any I have reviewed. So again, my kind of thinking for this one is that it's a really good sport one. It is a bit thicker. It feels a little bit more reminiscent of kind of your mineral sunscreens of years past. Um, again, I don't know how many times I'll say it, but I'll keep doing it. If you apply it in thinner layers, this one still kind of does work. It takes a little bit more rubbing in than some of the others and just feels a bit thicker, but it does pretty, I mean, to me that does a pretty good job. I would say that this one applies in like a bit more of a matte fashion, which is really nice. Most of the other mineral sunscreens kind of come with a dewy finish. So if you were looking for a more matte one, it would be this one. And it also has free shipping, which is really cool. But one thing is if you're looking for a vegan option, this is not it. It is not vegan, it has beeswax in it. So that's all I have to say about that one. It's not my favorite. Okay, so before I end, I did want to go over two sunscreens that I have right here. These two sunscreens are kind of a combination. They're in between tinted and non-tinted, and they are like a pinkish color. So I did want to go over them just as options, but um, for me, the point of this was to show you the non-tinted options, but again, we'll show you. So this one is Supergroup. This is the Zinc Screen SPF 40. And as you can see, it kind of comes off in like a pinkish hue. It's very lightweight and it goes on very smoothly and kind of like velvety. Um, the thing with this one is I cannot wear it in the summer because it really, really gives me a shine and I look like a grease ball if I do wear it. But it is really beautiful and like I said, it does have that pink sheen, so like if I wear a white shirt and go like that, it will come off on it, um, but it's another option that's really nice. And this one has 13% zinc oxide. The other one, which is brand new to me, is the Verst. This is Guards Up. This is SPF 35, and it is 15.2% zinc oxide. So again, this one has kind of a pinkish hue. There we go. <laughs> Um, this one's really new and it's actually really really lovely and I feel like this one dries down more matte than some of the others Especially more than this one. So if this is something that you're kind of looking toward um, It's a really great option and it's just it is gonna if you have like a towel and you wipe your face You will see it on it um, But it's still a beautiful option and I think it was only $20. So this one is like $45. So I would recommend this one over the zinc screen. Okay, the next one, and I almost didn't include this because it's ridiculous. It is $85? Let me check. Yeah, this is $85. It's two fluid ounces. It's beautiful. It's glass. It smells great. It performs really well, but it's $85. So you could get oh, like um, probably four of these 
for the price of that. So this one is a luxury product and that's why it is this low on the list. I just cannot recommend that you buy it because there are so many really, really great ones out there that do not cost that much. Josh Rosebrook is known for great ingredients, great formulation, but you know what? The Seashell Sundays one has really, really wonderful ingredients and is not violently priced like $85. I'm not actually reviewing it right now. I just wanted to include it because it is mineral. It really does not have a white cast, but this bottle is empty. I used it all up because you better believe I'm gonna use $85 worth of a sunscreen up. But now that I have talked about it, I can recycle it and not buy it again. <laughs> Guys, so thank you for watching. This was a huge, huge undertaking. Um, I also had to go to urgent care in the middle of it all. So I'm back now and hopefully I'm okay. And hopefully you learned something from this. And if you have any questions, I always answer. So do send me a message below. And of course, this isn't comprehensive. There are gonna be times that I miss stuff. I mean, this got to me yesterday, so I was able to add it, but I know I might've missed something. So if there is something out there that you wanna know about, let me know. And I do try everything, obviously. <laughs> This is crazy. Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.